Every once in a while, I like to host other YouTubers, specifically Poketubers, and their theories on my channel. Recently, legendary Pokemaster reached out to me, and I am allowing him to post a theory on my channel so that you can check out his work and determine if you'd like to subscribe to him and check him out. He has a lot of good content, and his edits are pretty good and on point, but it's not for me to judge, but rather you, the audience. So, without further ado, let's just queue up the intro and watch what he has in store for us. Hello and welcome, I'm the Legendary Pokemaster, and today it is time to talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon yet again. Supposedly, Aether are the good guys in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but are they related to Team Skull? Today I'm launching a theory to answer this question, so without further ado, let's start. First, I wanted to point out what made me think up this idea. I mean, I had to draw inspiration from somewhere. When I first watched the trailer that revealed the Aether Foundation, I noticed that the members of Aether had a striking resemblance to those of Team Skull. While you might say, a lot of characters look similar in Pokemon, these two executives in particular have a very similar fashion sense, more so than any other characters across any of the games. I know this look really isn't Alolan style because none of the characters that I've seen in the trailer so far really look like the Aether or Team Skull members. So this raises three possibilities and I'll address each one individually. Number one, there is no relation and this is a coincidence. That's the boring one. The second possibility and the one that I believe in the most is that Aether and Team Skull are two separate organizations but one broke off of the other in the past. The more probable thing is that the Aether Foundation broke off of Team Skull, similar to the ex-Team Plasma members of Black 2 and White 2. Aether members possibly initially started out doing bad deeds for Team Skull, but then realized that they were severely harming everyone, so they broke off and tried to atone for what they had done. That's the ex-Team Plasma story. It does make sense in this tense though, because I don't think it's the other way around, mostly because Aether members seemed so good intentioned in the trailer, and it doesn't seem like they would transition to that. The third and final possibility that I came up with is that Aether and Team Skull are one organization. If this was the case, they'd probably use some type of Palpatine-ish method to control Alola or something, whatever their goal is. What I mean by that is Team Skull poses as the bad guys carrying out essential tasks that are necessary to whatever their plan is, while the other half known as Aether kind of manipulates the public in a way. Although I think it's less likely than the second possibility, it would add a good plot climax within Sun and Moon and serve as a major turning point. Moving back to finding evidence for the second theory. On Bulbapedia, it says that the organization shelters Pokemon to keep them safe from threats like Team Skull. This kind of shows that they know what Team Skull is and are trying to protect Pokemon from it, so that might show that they know what Team Skull can do and hurt Pokemon and maybe kill them, I don't know. And yes, that has happened in Pokemon before. But really, this is just a theory. There isn't much to work with on the Aether Foundation or Team Skull right now, so we really have to wait until the games come out to see what will happen. So, what do you think? Do you think that these two groups are related or not? And if so, why? Please leave a comment down below telling me what you think and why. You can also subscribe to see videos like this twice a week. Regardless, I hope you're all as hyped for Sun and Moon as I am, and I'll see you in the next video.